The debate over controversial school names in Duval County continues. Many are calling for the names of Confederate leaders and other control figures to be scrubbed from the public buildings. Yeah, take a look at this map in our monitor. The names of nine schools in the district are set to be reconsidered after the school board voted last summer to start the review process. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean is hearing from both sides tonight. In February, leaders of these nine schools are set to host stakeholder meetings to decide whether to rename the buildings. Robert E. Lee, Jefferson Davis, and Stonewall Jackson, each name on the list carrying controversy, either due to their ties to the American Confederacy or their history with indigenous people. After voting unanimously last year to start the consideration process, the DCPS school board laid out its process for deciding whether to rename each of the schools, and if so, what new name to select. It starts with stakeholder meetings at each school with parents, students, alumni, employees, and anyone with a connection to that school. They'll also be able to submit alternative school names at those meetings. Then the school advisory committees will make a short list of possible names and let the school community vote. The results of that vote will go to the superintendent, who will then make a recommendation on any name change to the school board, and the board will have the final say. The issue of renaming has garnered strong support from organizations like the Jacksonville Public Education Fund and the Northside Coalition, who say the names are damaging, disgraceful, and must be changed. Their names symbolize racial hatred. That's why we say take them down. We demand that the city, the school board, Stop perpetuating racism, Jacksonville. We need to end up on the right side of history. But not everyone is on board with the change. I spoke with some of the leaders of a newly formed committee opposing new names, arguing that alumni support for the schools would dry up if they're renamed, among other reasons. To us, the, the, the school Robert E. Lee is not about the general. That's the name of the school. Um, that's, um, you know, if you want to focus on the Robert E. Lee, the person, he lived a long life and he did a lot of good things. Earlier this summer, the Jacksonville Public Education Fund set up a special account specifically for the public to make tax-free donations to support the renaming. As of Friday, a spokesperson said that the fund has received more than $8,000 from more than 70 donors.